our antiphon for Tuesday of Holy Week. Do not leave me to the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, Grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me in his servant from the womb. That Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him, and I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks to, be God. to God. Our responsorial psalm, I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge a stronghold to give me safety, for you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation, for you are my hope, O oh God, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth, from my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth, until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. Lord, be in my heart and on my lips as I profess your gospel, worthily and well, in the name of the Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, 
Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one who Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he had said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast or give something to the poor. So Jesus took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, as I told the Jews. Where I go, you cannot come, so now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow me later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is the holiest week of our Christian year. In this week, we, we walk, we journey with the Lord to his cross and ultimately his resurrection. We experience the pain and anguish that he experienced during this week. This week where he gathers today, particularly in the gospel, we see where he gathers with his disciples, those who are his closest friends, his confidants, those he is entrusting all of us with, his people, his apostles are there, gathered with him for this wondrous feast that he is preparing for them. At the same time, he sees all of those things that are coming together that will bring about, hopefully, salvation for his people. Jesus is suffering. He is suffering in different ways. He is suffering because he is experiencing the betrayal of a friend. He is experiencing anguish because he knows that he will be leaving his friends. This is a suffering in his heart and in his spirit. We know that he will undergo great physical suffering when he goes to his cross. My brothers and sisters, during this time, this difficult time in our world's history, in our country, in our, our community, our church's history, we too are experiencing much suffering. Certainly there are those who are suffering from this terrible virus, those that, uh, that are fighting, maybe some for their life, or some who just trying to get healthy again. We know that they suffer in a physical way through their, their, their pain, uh, through their bodies. There are also those who, who suffer, who are worried about them, 
those who are anguished, again, in their, in their spirit. There are those who are suffering because maybe they have lost somebody to this terrible virus. Those who, who even now have difficulty getting them the proper, the, the proper burial rites. You know, it's, uh, we can't fully celebrate a person's life like we would like to, I think, as a church, as a community, where we can all come together and, and pay our respects and offer our prayers. We have to do that separately at this time, but that causes, I think, anguish and pain in, in, in certainly our spirit. So we too are, are, are experiencing these many different kinds of sufferings at this time. But we know that we have a Lord who, who sympathizes with us, who understands us as human beings. Our Lord who, who also suffered in heart and spirit, who also suffered physically. But ultimately, we know that he is with us in that suffering and brings us to his ultimate redemption and salvation for each one of us as he goes to his cross and ultimately his resurrection. Yes, there is always hope, and that's where we need to keep our mind, our minds, our hearts, and our prayers on the Lord, on the cross, which is to us as Christians a sign of hope, and ultimately to his resurrection that hopefully all of us too will experience. This week, as we walk with our Lord in suffering, are we able to take our suffering and give meaning to it? Are we able to see our suffering in our Lord and what he has done for us? And now let us bring our prayers and our needs before the Lord this day. We pray for our church, our Holy Father, our bishops, priests, and all of our good people. We continue to pray for them, to give them strength as they share the good news of hope, particularly during this holy time, this holy week. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our nation and our leaders, leaders throughout the world who are entrusted with the good of their people. May they continue to make those decisions that, that seek to, to, to bring them healing, who seek to bring their communities to a wholeness once again. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are ill, for those who are suffering. We pray that they may find God's healing, body, soul, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who minister to them, those who care for them, our doctors, nurses, emergency workers, those who also protect our community at this time. We pray for them and their strength, their safety, and their commitment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of our parishes and all of our good people that the Lord will continue to strengthen them in this time, this time when we gather our prayers may be distant from one another, but together in spirit in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for those who have died. May all our faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, your suffering servant, our Lord Jesus, suffered for us. He knows our prayers, he knows our needs, he knows our humanity. We ask our prayers through him, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
feel this water Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the vine, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of Christ for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good, good of, of all, all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family and to those you made partakers of these sacred gifts. Grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us all for each other a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternity. Our communion antiphon. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all.
Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Peace be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your mercy, O Lord, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.